How big will cloud computing be in 2015? Consider the cupcake. When you interact with a business, such as a bakery, your request is sent to a data center. The order entry data center stores your information, authenticates it, and synchronizes it with other systems. For many businesses, this internal processing can generate as much as 80% of the data center traffic. From there, another 15% of your baker's data center traffic comes from sending the order to the factory data center where it's put into production. Finally, the last 5% of traffic is generated by the confirmation notice of your cupcake order. So while you don't see it, the total traffic generated from a single order can multiply exponentially, and that can be a challenge for businesses and service providers to handle. This global data center traffic reached 1.1 zettabytes in 2010 and will grow more than fourfold to 4.8 zettabytes by 2015. Of that, cloud traffic is growing two times faster than the traditional data center traffic. While in 2010 only 21% of workloads were processed through the cloud, by 2015 that figure will jump to 57%. More workloads moving to the cloud means less complexity in the data center, improved economies of scale, and most importantly, more cupcakes.